Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gamer Titicom video. How's the Xbox One doing in Japan? You might think to yourself, well, it's probably not doing too well. I mean, we've all heard the first numbers, like 25,674 in the first four days of sale, which compared to their 60k or so of the Xbox 360 wasn't very impressive. So you might say to yourself, well, it's probably not doing too great. However, it's doing considerably worse than what I even thought it would. It's sold 3,015 consoles in the second week, which is, well, half the number of PlayStation 3 sold, and eight times less than the PlayStation 4 sold, and the last week, four gamer have reported that Microsoft have sold only 1,314, so just to say it again, 1,314 consoles, that's not a typo, that's not me misspeaking, as I sometimes do, but no, that's actually accurate. 1,314 Xbox Ones. That's awful. To put that into further context, 103 Xbox 360s were sold. I'm guessing some of those are probably people replacing broken machines, which, it's still pretty crap, but holy bloody hell, 1,300 systems. From what I understand, it's not like people are just, they don't know about the Xbox One. There is inferior media coverage in Japan, Microsoft's fault, um, compared to the Xbox 360 or even the original Xbox. But people have been checking out in gaming booths, so they know about it. There's a reason they're not purchasing it. Well, I think there's a couple. One... Japan aren't typically enthralled by Western consoles. That's just how it is. That's not to say that it can't be done. Apple managed to push into the market somehow. But generally speaking, it's hard for Western games and Western consoles to be sold in Japan. However, it's not impossible. It can be done. I think the problem here is that there are some games, for example, Psycho Pass and maybe D4 will improve things as well, because that's very Japanese. But I know some of you guys really didn't like the video. I still think it was quite a cool game when I was playing it, but hey, whatever. I I think that Microsoft, there's... I mean, I'm not, like, you know, privy to all of their facts, figures, knowledge of what exclusives they've got and so on, so I, it's wrong of me to say this is where they're going wrong, because I don't know if they're addressing this internally. But... I think they really need to just push their marketing dollars towards Japan. They need to make sure that those figures don't continue. No one in New York or London, I don't know why I'm saying the you know cities in the countries rather than the actual countries, but whatever. No one expects those to actually do well in Japan. But these figures are not good as a global picture. They don't paint the console in a positive light. Microsoft need games to appeal to Asian audience. It's that simple. Some people call the Xbox One ugly. <laughs> I disagree. I don't think the PlayStation 4 is particularly aesthetically beautiful, in my personal opinion. I'm actually probably one of the two people in the world that prefer the look of the PS3, the original fat PS3, to the PS4. I just don't like the angles of the PS4. Person, personal thing. Uh, I don't like the Xbox 360's, uh, sorry, Xbox One's aesthetic, but I don't think it looks terrible. I think it looks okay. I think it's a bit big, but it's alright. You know, it's not amazing. I quite like the feel of the joypad, um, and so on. But I think the problem here is it's just the games. Microsoft really need to push the games a lot harder, and they need to make titles which appear appeal. I'm sorry to the Asian audience. And here's the sticky situation: it can't have the same games as the PlayStation 4 to appeal to Japanese. Because let's face it, for them, why not just buy the PS4? It has to be exclusive titles. There has to be compelling reasons for them to say, hey, hey, you know what, I want this system. One of the reasons that in certain demographics in Japan, the Xbox 360 did really well, 
and really well, of course, is subjective, but it did better, is because the Xbox 360 version of the fighting games was always superior, particularly Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom. It just had less latency, and that's a fact. You can ask any fighting game fan, and they'll tell you the same thing. And online was typically slightly smoother on the Xbox 360. Microsoft definitely can appeal to the Japanese, and it's not impossible. I feel that they can do it, but these these figures are just not good. You don't want the leper syndrome, you know, where everyone tries to avoid you. And you don't want to become synonymous with the joke console. As I said, the, the parties that I've seen and the conferences and the the buying sprees and stuff like that, it people looked like they were having a fairly good time at the Microsoft conference. And that's the sad thing. I just feel that Microsoft are not pushing the Xbox One properly in Japan. But that's only me saying that without knowing all of their marketing plans in the future because obviously I don't have access to that. They don't want to reveal that to the public for obvious reasons. I hope they do better in Japan and Asia in general because it's just going to be positive for the system and to be honest with you, if I was in Japan or I was living in one of these territories that Microsoft was not doing so well in, I would want them to do better because frankly I just would want less choice in my you know, buying. It would be that simple. Anyway, guys, I've been a bit rabbity on this video, but that's how I roll. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Take care, and bye for now.